Right, hi guys again. Uh, we're still on Broughton Burrows. I did actually find the car last week. Um, but I found some more history about it. Some more interesting things. Uh, so I've come back again this week. And I think I've had a 2.3 mile walk so far. And I found this little gem. Let's uh, see what we got here. So as I said, this was a military training ground. And uh, as we can see, we've got a, a tank. So we'll have a look around this. This is a Matilda tank. That's about all I know about it. It's a bit windier this weekend. wind noise down a bit but I don't know how it's going gully here and it's blowing an absolute gale through to here. So what we're going to do now is we're going to turn you around and we're going to head that way back out to sea and then we're going to find some let me turn around that's better we're going to head back out onto the beach and see if we can find some landing craft which are actually aren't on the beach there down by the car park so catch you later guys. God, it's, windy. it's windy up here. Just try and turn you around in this wind. Camera's struggling. Whoa. Gimp stuck. So zoom in on that. That's Salton Sands Hotel. You've probably seen that from where 
Westward Ho Beach. If I zoom round, I'm having to fight the camera and the wind here. Uh, Westward Ho will be doing that way somewhere. Just zoom me out. Camera's fighting the wind. To give an idea of what. Okay, let's uh, figure out where we are and uh, see if we can find these landing crafts, which should be. Over there. Or over there. Catch you in a bit. So because I can't reference anything on the ground on the ground when I'm walking, I'm having to sort of walk just don't know if you can see that on the top of the hill over there there's look at oh, the cameras this wind's so strong let me turn the gimbal off a minute and then we use the camera manually so I'm having to walk towards like those marker poles so I'm lining up with I'm checking on my phone where I am and lining up with the marker poles let me turn the gimbal back on because you're going all wobbly now right, let go. oh man this is so windy anyway we've come across this lump of concrete zoom down on the sign for you there so we're in the right direction if you want to pause that rewind pause there's some sort of concrete structure I don't know whether it's shot at or just come around the back sorry about the wind guys let's cover up the mic a bit so the sea's over there back to the sea uh, we're gonna be heading straight over that way yeah this is a poured concrete bunker <sighs> might have been a gun emplacement or something you can actually see the sandbag still in the in the concrete there interesting yeah so let's head that way check my map in a second when I get up the top there I'll cut you off guys and uh, see you in a bit. Just gonna walk you across this little squidgy bit. I'm just sort of skirt around the edge. This little lake. bad weather wise today it's a bit windier than I thought it's not too cold I've got a 
enough layers on to know about it and I've got a backpack on which I don't normally have so that's keeping me back warm the wind's not cold it's just windy it's just you're all right if you're down in the gullies here but we can get up on the top over there I zoomed around a bit quick there, sorry. Oh, because this is sand as well. So sorry for the heavy breathing. wind picking up as we get to the top and okay head that way but I've got to walk down this way let's catch up with you later right guys we've now walked 5.7 miles that's from the car out to the tank then back along the burrows and I finally having had to walk back to the car because I well, I lost my way, I just couldn't get my bearings in the burrows. Finally found what we're looking for, which is some fake or some practice uh, landing craft. They are, these are made of concrete, they were made for wartime practicing. They're buried straight ahead. So this would be the simulated beach. We turn around, and then this is the practice landing craft. So if we walk up and over, we would have walls on. There's a couple more to go and have a look at in a second. So the troops would be down covered here and then the idea would be to maybe attack that ridge point over there come out of the landing craft and go on from there or fight your way across this beach land go from there now we're going to go up there's a couple more up here I don't know whether you can see them on the camera sorry about the wind again let's try and cover that mic keep that microphone covered but it's difficult to walk keep it covered
Again, I don't know exactly the history of it, but Cover that microphone again. Okay, hang on a second guys, I want to go and have a look at that one over there um, but I'm going to have to walk right the way around because it's flooded be back in a minute so let's uh, zoom in on the sign if you want to uh, pause the video and read of that now I can't quite get zoom in some reeves in there hopefully that's in focus and the trees in focus not the we gimbal's gone Restart the gimbal. Let's put it up. Ah, oh, wind's catching it. Right, so that's about it for this video, 
they're bit, well they'll be a little bit more on the way back to the car um, we've got America Road which is over there which I'll walk up in a bit back to the car but yeah that's what I've got for you this week guys um, hopefully the wind's not been too much of a nuisance there is somewhere else along here a um, a rocket firing wall I don't know whether that's for firing rockets against a target or what but um, it's not very well marked on any of the maps we found um, so I doubt I'm gonna find it but I'm just gonna yeah I'm gonna climb through this bush just to get back so I'm gonna turn you off guys and I'll speak to you in a minute I think there was eight of these originally. Uh, it's four left. Okay, right, I'm going to walk back to the car now. Uh, so we just walk. That's oh, muddy. Back down, and then we'll walk back along America Road, back up to the car park. Catch you in a bit. Right, I'm walking back to the car now. This is America Road, um, obviously part of the World War II training, so there would have been American army camps around here. We've still got uh, a marine base at, at Broughton, um, not much of happening at the minute there, it was closed down at one point but I think they just reopened it slightly just there's still activity let's put it that way um, in fact it's just coming into view I'll, t I'll show you that in a second when we get past that tree so we've also got marine base at Insto which is the other side of the estuary which is my side of the estuary um, let me just get you zoomed in on that that's That's the RAF base over there. Um, wee. This wind's so strong today. It's taking my breath away as well as uh, don't know what I'm walking. Um, yeah, the, uh, so we've got the two bases either side of the estuary. Um, train the marines there, it'd be interesting if I can get down normally they drive the 
marines out into the sea um, the marines drive land rovers out into the sea on and off of uh, landing craft at Insto um, I've got a couple of pictures which I'll probably just slot in to the video in a minute um, I haven't got any video of that but it could be good if I could get some So yeah, I'm just uh, heading back. In fact, this, this actual road's actually harder to walk on than the burrows is. Group of people up in front, that's about third set of people I've seen. So if you're thinking about lockdown and stuff like that, I mean, I've been walking two and a half hours now, I've done 6.7 miles and I've seen about 15 people so the car park's full so you can see how much space we've got here just pan you around coming in in the distance there right I'm going to cut you off now and then we'll go from there